to be honest, I got back into it when I was about three years old back in uh, Whippy, Ontario, playing box lacrosse. I actually originally started out as a player, but now I made this transition over to be a, a goalie when I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. So uh, since then, I've really uh, taken off with it. It's found uh, had a lot of my friendships uh, made through the sport. And uh, since then, um, at a young age, I've kind of always loved it and always wanted to get better and be, be a lacrosse player and hopefully one day play professionally. When I was first diagnosed, I kind of had a little bit of a a little bit of a kind of second guess myself if I was ever going to be able to do this again. But um, the doctor said it wouldn't be that big of an issue, it wouldn't be a problem. I'd still be able to be, a, be an athlete and still play sports and still be who I am. It's just I just got some things I have to change that are in my routine that other people don't really have to take care of during their, their uh, pregame rituals. Um, I mean, playing for Coach Mearns is a big deal, in my opinion, um, just because uh, I, I wouldn't have had some of the opportunities I've had uh, this past summer. Team Canada had a uh, a tryout camp, I guess you could call it. Uh, they wanted to have a scrimmage before they went off to Israel. And uh, if I hadn't committed here or played for Coach Marins, I don't think I would have received the opportunity to go out there and kind of showcase my talent. That's like kind of the next wave of Canadian lacrosse players coming up that will represent them at the world stage. So, I mean, having that type of relationship with Coach Marins really goes a long way because ultimately one day I would like to represent my country on the world stage and hopefully be a starter there. But um, that's just a start, right? So if, without that type of relationship, it wouldn't really get going in that process. I mean, playing at, uh, playing at the Hill Academy, uh, it's a really big deal, especially at Geico. Um, I mean, you kind of get all the hype is there for you. So, I mean, um, you'll be coming out here. It's uh, Every game's a big game, just like Geico now, especially in the NCAA. So uh, playing for the Hill kind of preps you in that sense because they teach you about, uh, how to prepare properly and how to study the tapes and watch film and how to be a better player just off that kind of stuff. So um, playing uh, at such a high level kind of gets you used to that sense. Um, I mean, it's pretty interesting. I mean, um, it's not something you're really used to because uh, – you just think about it, you come from a small town Canada, um, you don't really think about it being blown up as a sport, especially the way lacrosse is evolving now. Um, it's very rare that you start seeing people talk this much, if not uh, for one program, if not two, like you said about Utah, right? So um, I find that uh, it's pretty, pretty unique and interesting. I don't think there's very many programs or players that get that type of exposure or opportunity.